Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a network between a two virtual operating system. Here I have a Kali operating system and another uh, machine inside my virtual box. I want to create a network between these two machines. So for that, you have to go to File and go to Host Network Manager. You can see our network adapter Vbox Net0 which is by default configured with the IP address of 192.168.56.101 If you want to change the IP address value, you can change it from here The DHCP server setting is also given here So right now I will not change it uh, Click on close And now for this two operating system You have to add two network adapters Go to the setting Go to network for adapter 1, you have to choose NAT because this NAT will allow your virtual operating system to connect to the internet. For adapter 2, choose this host only adapter VVOX NET0. Click on OK. And also do the same setting for the another machine. Go to setting. Go to network. Adapter 1 should be NAT and adapter 2 should be host only adapter and the name here should be vboxnet0 so click on ok now I start these two machines Give the username and password. Open the terminal and check the IP address. Uh, there is an IP address 192.168.56.5. Okay, so open the terminal on the second virtual machine. And check the IP address here as well by giving the command IP space A. Here is the N IP address of 192.168.56.6. So let us ping uh, to another IP address. Fifty six dot six. So the ping from both the machines are successful, and our virtual machine network is successfully created. If you see the adapters here, uh, this ETS zero, uh, which has an IP address of ten zero two dot fifteen, it is an IP address of NAT, which help us to connect to the internet. The another adapter ETS one, which is the host only adapter, and it has an IP address of one nine two one six eight fifty six dot five. Also, I have installed the Docker on this machine, so there is an another network adapter, Docker Zero. So, uh, with this, now you can easily create a virtual network between two virtual operating system. So, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.